So here we go again, man. We have another dog attack. Pit bull attack. These are not even considered. I don't even consider these dogs. These are monsters. These are little terroristic monsters that idiotic people enable to breed. Idiotic people have these things as pets. It's just like have you, you might as well you might as well just go have a lion as a pet. You know, these are like little miniature lions. But they're worse than lions because they don't even they can't even survive on their own. But they're monsters. There's mo they're monsters that can't even survive. They're not even they're not even supposed to be pets in the first place. They were supposed to be it was bred to suppose there was a bit it was bred to take down cattle you know to control the farm some shit like that take down cattle they weren't even bred to be pets but idiotic idiots make these monsters pets and that's why so much tragedy that's why it's been these things have been causing so much harm tragedy and chaos within their communities and the idiot idiots that make these things pets a lot of these people have become victims of these monsters anyway here's another victim here's two monsters strolling in the neighborhood bully they call them bully breeds for a reason check this video out Deputy are recovering after being attacked by dogs near Katy. Investigators say deputy shot and killed the two animals. The attacks happened around 8.30 this morning off Doherty Place near Misty Cove Drive. KPRC 2's Corbin this is, is only six days ago. And just spoke with the 83-year-old man's stepdaughter, Corley. 83-year-old man. Keith, as you can imagine, they are shaken up about this. And I spoke with Dennis McKee's stepdaughter. She tells me those dogs showed up here this morning. They gave them water, and they didn't appear to be aggressive. But things turned terribly very quickly. Surveillance video shows 83-year-old Dennis McKee petting two dogs outside his home. First of all, you're, yeah. look, look, did y'all notice that? Check this out, right? Okay, so you see the man. Hold on. Very quickly. Surveillance so, video show. So I don't know what hell this dog is trying to do right here. I don't have a clue. I guess he's trying to take the man down. I guess they uh, caught themselves hunting. But never trust two. Never trust pit bulls. Period. But definitely don't go out here and pet two straight pit bulls. When you see two straight stray pit bulls walking on the neighborhood. They're, they're, they're hunting, bro. They're nothing but trouble. Avoid at all costs. One is bad enough, but you see two prowling in the neighborhood, walking around. They looking to kill some shit. They're nothing but trouble. I don't care how nice you are. I don't care how. I don't care if you do a nice gesture or try to feed them. They was feeding the, these monsters. And look how these monsters repaid them. They don't care about you feeding them. They're strays. And they're out for blood. These things were bred for blood. To be dangerous. And then you idiots want to have them as pets. They need to ban these fucking dogs, man. I don't know what's up with the U.S. With the United States problem. I don't know what's up with the United States problem. But these motherfuckers need to be banned. So, the dog getting behind him. I don't know if he's trying to dog trying to knock the old man down, but the man is noticing that, and I guess the dog lashed on his elbow, and so the man shoot him out the way. Shoot him out the way. You know what I'm saying? Push him out the way. Like, get off me! And look what happens. Eighty-three year old. See the man like get off me! You why you? McKee. So his friend saw that. Friend didn't like that. This guy right here, he didn't like what the old man did. Hey man, you messing up our, our scheme. We trying to take you down. You messing up. And why you push my friend? And see what he do. 
petting two dogs outside his home. See how you pushed them? See the pit pushed the man like, why you push my friend? I'm gonna push you. He pushed him. Dogs outside his home. He pushed him like, why you push my friend? I'm gonna push you like they trying to knock him down or something, right? They're hunting. Appearing playful. Because I and, and when they be playful like that, kick their ass. If you get, if you come across some pit bulls, I notice these in these pit bull attacks. The people never seem to kick them motherfuckers. I will kick the shit out of their chest when they jumping up on me to get away. Knock their ass back like 20 feet. They'll hesitate to come up on you again. But I notice uh, other pit bull attacks. They don't, use, they, don't, they don't kick. They don't use their feet. They just try to use their hands and arms and they get taken down and, and fucked up. Because at first they didn't seem like... Mean dog. So you're a good like, attack. Because at first they didn't Look. seem petting two dogs outside his time. Time he pushed me, I'm gonna kick the fuck out of him, right in the fucking chest. Take the wind out of his ass, and then choke the shit out of him. That's what you gotta do. You gotta choke these bastards to get them off you. Choke them. You see, you see a pit bull grabbing, grabbing, harming another human being. You can't get them off because sometimes hitting don't work. You can take a baseball bat and hit these fuckers. That don't work. You got to choke. I bet if you choke their ass, pull a belt, pull off your belt and put it around his neck and choke the shit out of him, I bet it let go then because everything, because it needs to breathe. It ain't going to suffocate. It's going to let go when it ain't got no oxygen. Appearing playful. Because at first that didn't seem like... Mean dog. Bielka Wong says moments later, the dogs attacked her stepfather. Had you seen bastard. those dogs before? Uh, no, no. Shortly after, she heard her mother and stepfather. See, they were hunting. Look at them, both of them working as a team. Screaming for help, she gra grabbed this umbrella. So I, I came back. She lucky they got off that guy when she hit him with the umbrella. She out and start hitting the dogs because he wasn't letting go of my stepdad. Sergio Torres heard the commotion next. Store. The ladies were pretty heroic though because they didn't seem to be too scared of the dogs and were out the entire time around the dogs. So it seemed like the dogs had something. Don't matter if you're scared or not. When they bite a plug out your ass, it don't matter how scared you was, you just got a plug bent off your ass. Against the men. A 43 year old man driving by jumped out to help. <laughs> he came out with some kind of wire and he was hitting them with that too. Mm -hmm. And then the dogs went after him. The dogs bit the Good Samaritan. He jumped on top of Wong's car to get away, leaving a dent. A responding deputy was also bit before deputies opened fire on the dogs. You know, the, the police officers did try to keep the dogs contained before you. So this dog um, bit him and bit another a deputy. Them dogs are hard, to, uh, you know what I'm saying? You Shooting them. The dogs did not survive. Good. My mom cried, you know, because she, she had never oh, seen them. Oh, shut that. up. Was like, it's okay, mom, you know. Because they could have bit somebody else, you know, somebody. Cried. Should cry. She should have been crying tears of joy. You got rid of those fucking monsters. Yeah, another kid. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, An man. investigator say that. Tears of joy. Determined, and look what the guy, the guy had to jump on top of the car to survive. I don't blame you, dude. That was good, a good choice. You see a fucking car, you jump on top of it. On the dogs. And you see some damn crazy ass dogs. Did not survive. Trying to uh, attack you. My mom cried, you know, because she, she had never seen that. I was like, it's okay. Top of Wong's car to get Look at that, he jumped on top of that car. Save his life. Way he fucked that car up. <laughs> a responding deputy he was jumped. also bit before deputies opened fire on the dogs. You know, the, the police officers did try to keep the dogs contained before even shooting them. The That's dogs. a damn shame. A man this big got to jump on top of a car to get away from dogs. If, if a man this big got to jump on top of a car, them fuckers shouldn't be pets. No, no type of dog like that should be pets. Like I'm saying, man, they need, I don't know what's up with the United States. But these fuckers need to be banned. I, I don't know what's up with them. I don't know what's up. They need to all be RFID chipped. 
and the owners need to be fucking responsible and, and do jail time if the fucking little monsters go out here and bite somebody. I'm sick of this shit, man. This is this is this is crazy, man. You know, since you want to own a fucking pit bull so bad, you know what I'm saying? You should be responsible for whatever actions they do. For, for, for whatever harmful actions they cause on people, you, it should be as if you did it. You know what I'm saying? But they should just ban these things, these monsters, period. They're a nuisance. I don't give a damn if you got pits. They were... I don't give a damn about how many pits you got and how nice they are. Look, if Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer himself, his pit bull bit a girl and killed, her, and qu killed Queen Latifah's dog and injured a, a, another girl. And that dog was supposed to be trained by the world famous, one of the most world famous dog trainers of all time, Caesar Milan. They call him the dog whisperer. And he couldn't even get his fucking pit bull under control. What was that? What was his name? Blue. If his pit bull could bite, they all could fucking bite. If his pit bull could could attack somebody, they all could fucking attack somebody, an innocent person. You know, an innocent life. We talking about world famous dog trainer dog behaviorist and his fucking dog he's supposed to be such an expert in controlling dogs and taking the pit out of the dog as as he likes to say and his dog end up being an asshole and killing and maiming innocent people there's no hope for these motherfuckers I don't care if you're pit and you can't you you don't you never know it's like giving you 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 give your child a pit bull, it's like giving your child a 9mm to play with. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's like with a pit. And let's say your child never uh, caused an accident with a 9mm. And you, and you can say, well, I gave my child a 9mm ever since he was... 10 years old and he's been responsible and he never had an incident and he's now 30, 38 years old that don't mean shit something bad could have happened and you put your child at risk you know just because your child didn't make a mistake of of harming himself or harming somebody else with a 9 millimeter it's still an irresponsible thing to do to give your kid a 9 millimeter gun. It's still a dangerous thing to do. To give your child a 9 millimeter gun. And say hey play with it. Even though there may have been no accident. He may have grown up. To a full grown man. It doesn't matter. It's dangerous. You put your kid in harm's way. It's not worth the risk. That's just like with these pit bulls. They're not worth the risk of being of harm of being around your kids. They're not worth the risk of the of the potential harm that they could cause. They bite your kid. It's not no little Yorkie bite. This is a big maiming bite that could tear off your limbs, could tear off your fucking face, could kill you. I haven't heard a little Yorkie, little small little poodle killing or tearing off limbs or killing humans and tearing off limbs of human beings well I, I, I don't get people people are so fu people are out of their fucking minds man you know that I, I really don't like people bro I really don't like people now if you cool you think like me we're on the same page I love you to death but you got a lot of weirdo People out here that don't that don't know what the fuck is going on. They they don't have a clue. They're not conscious. They do some of the most reckless shit. They involve themselves in some of the most heinous bullshit, like owning these motherfuckers. They subject their kids around these monsters. I don't.
fuck with those type of people, man. I really don't like people. I really don't. You know, especially people like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, if we're on the same page, I, I can love you to death, man. But if you on some dumb shit, you know, I stay away. I stay away. I stay away. You know, you know what I'm saying? I have a low tolerance for, for stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? This just this is just common sense. You wouldn't own a fucking these same people would that own a pit bull would be scared of a lion. Wouldn't own a lion. Motherfucker, it's the same pretty much the same fucking thing. Oh yeah, and motherfuckers like they own these pits, they're scared of spiders. It don't they don't make no fucking sense. They're just idiots. They they scared of spiders, but they can own a big dangerous ass pit bull that can tear your fucking face off, and they worry about a fucking tiny ass spider they can just smash, they can just step on. This is this is the type of idiotic idioticcy you're dealing with. This this is the type of moronic consciousness. You're dealing with when it comes to these moronic people. But yeah, man, ban these motherfucking pit bulls, man. They should have fucking been banned already. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. But yeah, they need to be banned from existence. Peace out.